day and welcome back so we've not made a new video for a while and this week we took a big step forward but then I've made I've had to take several steps back so let's go with the positives first so I discovered this stuff um, COB I'll put a link up here now to videos I did a couple of days ago showing this stuff but uh, for these panels here I'm using it so I've already got one in place and I'll just show you what this is like in comparison to LED so you can see we get like complete strip of light compared to just two spots so that's been really great to solve that issue of lighting these up um, I got the little SMD fitted in here this will just shine down onto this front console which is was a bit dark last time when we tested but then I had some, a major problem come up um, I did a test fit and I couldn't fit this together because of all the uh, fibre optics etc underneath and to get them out, I had to uh, snap all the SMDs that were powering these. So I had to, uh, this has been in the freezer, so I could remove these two and that one. I've replaced the SMDs. So I need to get them uh, resisted up, ready. Um, I've ground down where we'd had the fibre optic and the... Um, five minute epoxy holding it all in place I've taken while I was at it I've taken a bit off here so I've got more space to run them this time and here so we're going to be refitting them the only problem is the two can we see I don't think we can see from this angle and it's not lit there's two domes on this side wall and I've lost the SMDs to them and without literally removing the whole thing, taking it completely apart, I can't get to them. But fortunately, there's enough light spilling in that they will still be lit up. So they're just not going to be orange anymore. They're going to be white like the rest of them. So I'm going to get these wired back up. We'll get all this wiring neatened up. I'll get this panel in place and we'll have a look at it all lit up properly again right so this is just a test fit with the bottom part fitted you can see it fits in now and um, i've replaced all the lighting and um, i knocked nog so he needs to be put back in but you can see let's see what we can get all them walls are lit up now with the orange, not silly bright, it's just, it's lit, but it's not illuminating the place, which is what I wanted. Um, I've still got the, let's focus. No, it won't focus properly. But I've still got the flashing lights on the consoles to replace with the fiber optics. And I'll be testing that as I go along. If it fits, if it doesn't fit with the base, I'll be scrapping it. Um, I did put a light in above the cockpit. Um, you've got to get really down to see it. So it's never going to be an issue. No one's ever going to be looking at it from that angle. But that light's up there. Uh, Quark and uh, Rom just nicely sat at the front. And because they're metallics, it gives the jackets them sh that shiny look that uh, Ferengi jackets had. Got another nice look of the other side wall. Lit up just the same. Um, so next I'm going to try refit the fibre optics. And I'm going to be looking at fitting the yellow lights that just go in here. Before we look at attaching this base in place. So I'll come back one if we get the fibre optics working or not. And update how we're going. 
Right, so this is just a test of the fiber optics. I've uh, last time we did it with the 1.5mm, I've gone with the 1mm just for sizing, but they're working. It's only rigged up sort of roughly to test, but we have this with the base on, so it all fits in now. That does squeeze together tighter, but it's because there's no glue, so it keeps popping itself apart so i'm going to go ahead and get the second one fitted uh cut down the length of the fiber optics that are sticking up i did it that way just so, while i was testing and we will have a look at uh, the entire lighting well this has taken quite a bit of sorting out um, but I've got all the SMDs that I had to replace, um, replace the fibre optics, uh, the bulbs for them aren't connected at the moment so they're not on but they are in place um, and it lays flat on my work surface now so next stage I'm going to try get this mounted um, onto the bottom part and I've already got wires long enough connected up to take into account coming out through the hole so we'll have a look it is actually inside everything next right so um, I've now gone on and got the lights uh, these are all in place on the holes so they're going to be I'm not even sure what they are I assume they're sort of like the nav lights but they are all static um, these ones I've had to leave in right in the edge and I can see a little light leak hold on let's get in closer There, we can see the light leak now. So we've got a light leak here, but I'm going to address it when we get it joined onto here. This cabin is completely finished. It's ready to stick down. And we need to fix these two LEDs in for the control panels, the flash flickering ones. But it's all getting to the stage now where I'm going to be starting to actually connect all this up. I nearly made a nasty mistake and went and connected it and forgot to um, and put the window screen in yet. So I think where we're up to is actually quite a good place to wrap this episode up because we've got all the lighting working now. See that's all lit up inside everything's on so next time i think what we'll do is i'll get this in place flickering leds in place windscreen in place and this shell back on and then that leaves us um, working on the engine part so we need to get the LEDs in here so that'll be ready to connect on I may get this done before we put that on just to make sure it all fits in nicely but for now and um, thank you for watching keep trekking and keep modeling thank you goodbye